Welcome and thank you for watching the first episode of our video series, In the Picture. We are so happy that we have been able to reopen the museum and today I'm taking you on a grand tour of our exhibition. Today we will be taking a close look at the self-portraits of Vincent van Gogh as well as a few portraits his artist friends made of him. How did Vincent see himself and how did his friends see him? Let's take a good look at the self-portrait with bandaged ear. This is a special loan from the Courtauld Gallery in London and we are so grateful to have it. I very much love this painting because it's both vulnerable and strong. It's vulnerable because Van Gogh painted it shortly after the incident where he cut off his left ear in a state of utter confusion right before Christmas 1888. He painted it a few weeks later when he returned from hospital and the bandage around his ear alludes to the recent drama. So this is a very intimate portrait of Vincent. But it's also strong because what Vincent would always do was pick up his brush in difficult times and actually continue to paint because he believed going back to work would help him recover. And right behind him is a new canvas on the easel. So he's really making a statement about himself being an artist. I'm here, I'm going on. What's interesting, and you might not know this, is that this is the only self-portrait in which Vincent shows something of the background of the space he was in. On the wall behind him is a Japanese print. This is a print from his own collection, and Japanese printmaking was a very important source of inspiration to him. All in all, this self-portrait is really a statement for Vincent van Gogh. It tells us a lot about his image as an artist, about his identity as a person, and about his artistic practice. Van Gogh painted many more self-portraits. We know of 35 painted portraits, and it's important to know that he primarily saw them as studies. This one, for example, is self-portrait with gray felt hat. He painted it in 1887, and he was living in Paris for two years at the time. And actually, most of the self-portraits were painted in his Paris years. He used them to study portrait painting, which was very important to him. And he also used them to experiment in new, different techniques. This one, for example, is a far-reaching experiment in the potential of color. This painting is completely made up of separate, short, rhythmic brushstrokes in colors that enhance each other. If you have a close look at the face, you see that it's made up of red and greens, whereas the background is made up of blue, purple, and orange, and the result is a self-portrait that really vibrates with color. So many portraits, so many faces. That's what you see if we now take a good look at some of the portraits Vincent's friends made of him. This beautiful, colorful chalk drawing was made by Vincent's friend, Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec. Vincent and Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec met each other at the studio of Fernand Cormont in Paris, where they both studied. What we see is Vincent in his favorite bar, Café Le Tambourin. And it is said that at the end of a day's work, Vincent would rush to the bar where he would down glasses of absinthe and cognac in quick succession. In front of Vincent, on the table, you see the little green drink, absinthe, which was very popular among artists at the time and they nicknamed it the Green Fairy. In short, Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec depicted his friend as the bohemian artist who enjoyed the artistic life of Paris at the time. Very different is the portrait Paul Gauguin painted of his friend. Paul Gauguin shows us a very different Vincent van Gogh. Gauguin also met Vincent in Paris but he painted this portrait in Arles, where he joined Vincent for some time. And he chose to depict Vincent as an almost obsessive, hard-working artist who's really throwing himself into his work. And Vincent has later said that in this very portrait, he recognized his nervous exhaustion that preceded his mental breakdown, where he cut off his ear. All in all, this portrait is completely different than the one Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec made of Vincent. 
Together, all these portraits of Vincent van Gogh essentially shape the way we see him. Next week, I am going to tell you all about image and identity. But if you can't wait for the next episode, you can check out our In The Picture app. And of course, now that we have been able to reopen the museum, please come and experience the exhibition for yourself. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.